Hello and good morning, Sudoku friends. Welcome to the New York Times Hard Sudoku. Today is April 16, 2023. I'm going to dive right in. There's a three blocking down here, and a three blocking up, and a three blocking across. So a three must go here. A three blocks over, a three blocks over, three blocks down. So a three also must go here. We now have a 7, 3 and a 7, 3, and therefore these two squares must be a 7 and a 3. There's a 2 blocking across here, and a 2 blocking across here, and a 2 blocking up here. So a 2 is forced into this square. And it is now clear that a 1 and a 5 block these squares. So a 1 and a 5 must go into these two squares in some order. That makes these two squares a 9 and a 6. And we can actually tell which one is going to be the 6 and which is going to be the 9 because the 6 blocks over here and there's 6 blocking up here. So one of these must be a 6. Therefore, this must be a 9, and this must be the 6. This 7 blocks up here, so one of these is a 7, and now these must be a 4 and an 8. And the 8 blocks over, so it's clear that the 4 must go here and the 8 here. I'm keeping a close eye on the 1 and the 6 here. And we also have a 1 and a 6 here. So this square is blocked from being a 1 and a 6. So the only two squares in row 4 that can be a 1 and a 6 are these two squares here. And that still leaves a 2, 4, and a 9 to find for the row. There's a 2 and a 4 here, so this must be a 9. So now we need a 1, 2, 4, and a 6 for this row here. There's a 1, 2, and a 6 here, so a 4 must go here. So a 1 and a 6 and a 1 and a 6, therefore this must be a 2. I can see that the two sevens force a 7 to go here and he, or here, and these two sevens force a 7 to go here or here. So I know now that one of these three squares must be a 7. It's not very important at this time, but it may come in handy later to have this background knowledge. There's a two and it must go here because this two blocks across, this two blocks down, this two blocks up, and this two blocks across, yes. So a two must go here. And now we can find an 8 for this square because an 8 blocks over and this 8 blocks down, this 8 blocks up, so an 8 goes here. This 9 blocks down, so a 9 must go here or here, blocking over. This 9 blocks over, so a 9 goes here or here. 4 blocks over and a 4 blocks over, so a 4 in this box here is restricted to these two columns. A four blocks over here, so the four in this box is restricted to the same two columns. So a four in column four must go here or here. This square must be a one, because we need a one, four, six, and a nine for this row. There's a four, six, and a nine blocking this square, so it must be a one which blocks over, and this one blocks over, so a one must go here. Now we got a one and a two here, and a one and a two here, so a one and a two must go in two of these three squares here. So now we can do something with the one in this box. We know that this is a seven three, so therefore they can't be a one. And the one blocks down here, so one must go here, here, or here, 
blocking this square from being a 1. This one blocks these two squares from being a 1, therefore a 1 must go here. And this one blocks over, so does this, therefore a 1 goes here and a 6 here. Here we are looking for a 4 and a 9. I can't place them just yet, I think. But I know now that these squares must be a 5, 6, and a 7. And there's a 6 blocking here. So this must be the 6. And these are now a 5 and a 7. And since they are 5 and a 7, this must be a 4. Here now we are looking for a 5, 8, and a 9. And we will have to continue looking, I think, because I can't solve that just yet. What I can solve, however, is this square. It must be a 5. And that makes this a 5, and this a 7, I believe, was yes. But reverting for a moment to the 7 and the 3 here, that means that these squares can't be a 6. This 6 box over, the, this 6 box down, so a 6 goes here. So a 4, 5, and a 9 now for these squares. And we know that a 4 must go here or here because we found that out earlier, so this is a 5 or a 9. And we know that the five blocks down here and the five blocks over here. So yes, a five must go here. And that blocks down, this five blocks down, so a five goes here. That's very convenient. This is now a four nine and this is a four nine. This is also a four or a nine. And therefore this cannot be a four or a nine. The third digit missing from this block up here is a six. So I'm calling this a six because otherwise we would have a unique rectangle problem. And since we never have those with the New York Times, we always find a valid puzzle on their website. We can safely assume that these now have to be a four and a nine. Four blocks over here, so this is a 9 and this is a 4, making this a 4 and this a 9. Now we just have to fill in this blank square, and that has got to be a 9. Here now, a 4, 9, and a 1. There's a 9 and a 4 blocking across, so a 1 must go here. We have a 5 and an 8 blocking this square, and we have a 5 and an 8 blocking this square, so these squares must be a 5 and an 8. The remaining two squares must be a 6 and a 7, and we have a 6 blocking over, so a 7 must go here and a 6 here. These now must be a 7 and a 3. We got a 7 blocking up, so the 3 goes here and the 7 here. These are 5 and 8, and therefore can't be 3s. This 3 blocks down, and therefore these can't be 3s. This 3 blocks over, therefore this cannot be 3. Ergo, the 3 goes here, and this must be the 4. And we know that these have to be a 4 and a 9, because we found that out earlier. So the 4 blocking over, making this a 9, and this a 4. And the 6 must go up here, because we got two 6s blocking across. This 1 blocks here, so it must be a 2, and this must be a 1. The 2 blocks over. This 2 blocks over, so a 2 goes here. And we did have a 3 and a 7 here. So now that we found this 3, you know that the 7 goes here and the 3 here. This is now a 5, 7, 8, 7 blocks here, 7 blocks here, so a 7 goes here. The 8 blocks down, so this must be the 5, and the 8 must go here and the 5 here. 
Here now we are looking for a one, eight and a nine. We got two ones blocking down. So this is a one and the nine blocks down. So this is an eight and this is a nine. Making this a nine and this an eight. The last digit in this grid must be a five. And it, that was uh, quite a nice puzzle today from the New York Times. It was interesting. I hope you'll come back for more soon. Bye for now.